everyone, it's me, Gel Express, and for today I have a huge haul for you guys. This was compiled since Boxing Day, so I've been really, really shopping a lot. But it's not my fault because all the stores are now having their clearance, end of the season sales, so it's really not my fault. Okay, so on Boxing Day, I actually went to um, a lot of malls, but I want to guess. I keep seeing everyone or most people having a guess paper bag. So it means they bought something from guess. And I was just curious. I was like, I don't think guess is having like a big sale. So I was like, nah, I'm not gonna go. You know, I mean, it's, it's just gonna waste my time. So after going to two malls, I went home. I took a short nap. And when I woke up, I was like, I feel like going to another mall. It was around like five, five, six. So I was like, I feel like going to another mall. So I did and I was like, you know what? Let's check out Guess. I went with my brother. So I was like, yeah, let's go to Guess. I want to check out what's the fuzz about. Like how come people keep, I keep seeing people with Guess paper bags. So I'm like, I want to check it out if they do have a great sale so I did I went and basically all of their sale items are additional 40% off and then all of their regular priced items are 30% off I just went to look for jeans or pants so the first thing I got was a pair of just a medium wash medium wash jeans and it's just a skinny and it's the Curvette Low Rise Slim. And it has the guest stud right here, which I like because, you know, so people know it's guest. Okay, so I got that. And um, I think originally it was $90, something like that. And then it was on sale for $69.99, I believe. But in the end, I paid like. 20 something dollars, almost $30. So for a guess, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, the quality is awesome. Makes your trunk look awesome. So I like this. And then I got another pair of jeans and because, you know, being me, I splurge on the moment. I don't know, like I felt guilty afterwards. I was like, I spent $70 for two jeans. I mean, it might not seem like a lot of money, but in one buy, it's a lot. So I bought some bright blue jeans, and I love it. It's not like too bright, trust me. Like in person, it's not too bright. Like it's like normal jeans that's enhanced in color. So this one also has the stitching right here, it says gas. And this one was almost the same price, maybe a little bit pricier. I think this was like $70 and then, no, 70. No, I think the other one was $60, yeah. The other one was $60 and then 40% 40, 40 off and then this one was $70, 40% off. So I got, um, this one I got for like $35-ish, something like that. So it's not too bad. Um, it fits really well. As, like I said, um, it's very comfortable, stretchy. Thick, so definitely worth your money if it's on sale. So that's it for guests, and let's move on to the next store. Next thing I got was from Urban Planet, and I got some boots, and it just looks like this. Oh, this one's the inside. So it looks like this. The zipper is actually on the outside um, side of your legs, so this one is showing. And it's just a dark brown with a uh, red zipper lining, and it's just it's just simple. I like this because this one is not too big on my calf, like it fits perfectly. And originally it was thirty five dollars, and I got it for half off, so seventeen dollars. The tax is annoying, so it was around twenty dollars, which is still a good price for boots, right? I think so. Okay, the next thing I got was from ever so popular Victoria's Secret. I spent quite a bit on Victoria's Secret, which is bad. 
but ew, they're like they're having their semi-annual sale. I can't help myself if everything's like 75% off. I didn't even buy their mist because I felt bad. Well, I, yeah, I wanted to save so I couldn't buy it. Well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see because it's tempting. I don't know. Oh yeah, we'll see. As usual, like any other girl, we buy bras there because it's Victoria's Secret. But I'm not gonna show you guys because you're not gonna be able to see me wearing it anyway. So there's no point, right? Yeah. So many papers. Like I don't know what to do with these. There's so much of them. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of um, gurus about Victoria's Secret um, makeup line and I just wanted to try it out because I haven't really tried anything from there um, because they're really, they're, I feel like they're not, I don't know, like I haven't tried any so this is my first makeup Victoria's Secret buy, okay? So the first thing I got was a tan boosting powder bronzer okay I'm really pale right now like even in the summer even if I try tanning it doesn't work last summer I was under the Sun for like six hours something like that with the Sun nothing happened yeah. I'm very thick-skinned basically Not okay. but this one I wanted to try it's a tan boosting um, powder bronzer and it comes with a brush. I actually haven't opened this. I don't know what it looks like. It's sealed. I don't want to try breaking it in, but I'll open it later and, and maybe I'll show it in one of my makeup tutorials or whatever. But that was it. And then I got some bronzer that they have. No, not bronzer, blush, sorry. Um, this one was originally $18 and it's just the Desert Star, um, and it's just a blush. And let me just, I'll open it for you guys, because I'm nice, right? So it looks like this, it's very, very glossy, and basically it's a luminous blush with, or highlighter. So if I open it, and it looks like this, it comes with a mirror too. It's really pretty, right? And I don't know how it's gonna look like though. I did swatch it there because I didn't want my hands to be dirty, but it seemed nice, so I just took it. And then I got like another lipstick. I actually don't know what well, the color was this, so I, I didn't open it because I had too many things in my hand and it looks like this. Oh man, I think I think someone actually opened this. Oh, uh -huh. oh. It's really dark. Oh man. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this, but it's really dark. I don't know. Should I put it on right now? I don't know. We'll see. I'll put it on right now because I'm really curious to what this will look like. Okay, it looks like this. It's a little bit paler than the red, but I don't know when I'm gonna wear this because I don't really wear bright lipsticks out because, I don't know, I just like being simple all the time because I'm boring. So, we'll see if I wear this. I should have opened it because, okay, each of those were like $4 as well, so like three something, $4. So basically, um, it's not, it's not too cheap so yeah and then I went to my local Sephora and basically I was on a hunt to see some sales and I went there and I was looking around just browsing around and I came upon this set there it's just a mini brush set and it was on the sale section but it didn't have its price it didn't have any tags and so I asked the cashier to check the price for me and basically it comes it came with four brushes and 
there was nothing on it. Like, there's no tag, no anything, no numbers. And so, I went to ask how much this was because I really wanted some brush. Brushes. So, um, she couldn't find it as well. It took, like, forever. I think it took, like, I was there for, like, an hour, I think. Or maybe, like, last. Maybe 45 minutes or 30 minutes. Something like that. But it took a really long time. She looked on the computer. Um, she looked on the internet, their site, um, she called the head office twice, um, and they couldn't find it, so I was just there waiting patiently, and just to see if they would actually, like, get it for me, but, um, ended up, they found the, the name and the item code, and it was, like, $18, $18 for this mini set and it, it came with five brushes actually but this one was only four so I was like um, is there any way I told the cashier is there any way I could still buy this even though it's missing um, one brush even if you have like like can you like reduce the price or whatever like I really am desperate with brushes so I was like so she, she was she was really nice she it's like, okay, I'll ask the manager and we'll see what happens. And then she did. So I waited a few more minutes and um, and then the manager eventually, like she explained it to me. She was like, oh, I, I explained to the manager what happened. Um, I explained that you were really patient into like finding out the price even though it was like a long time and like I didn't give them any problems or any like attitude and to, you know, but she was like, yeah, she explained everything to the manager and that this was the last one and it was missing a brush. And so the manager actually told her to just tell me that I can have this as a gift. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> no, um, I was really happy. It made my day. I was very thankful because, you know, of all the trouble that I gave them and just by showing them I, I was patient they actually wanted me to just have this as a gift basically um, the manager was like yeah just take it it was the last one you, you waited for a long time you were really nice didn't give any attitude and so you can have it as a gift I was like so I saved like $20. I saved $20 on a brush that yeah, I was really happy. I, it made my day. So, I'm gonna get married, basically. Um, so, yeah. That's basically it for my haul. I know it's so long. I've been really chatty because I just drank coffee. And, oh, this one is my McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I ordered some fries and some dinner chicken. A dinner chicken. I order that all the time. That's why I can't like, you know my fingers. If you notice, I wasn't touching. My, I, I hold my brush set like this because, you know, I, I have fries, oily fries here. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me because it's been a while since I've done a haul and I've chatted with you guys and shared some of my experiences. And uh, so, thank you. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!